Welcome to another edition of Headlines Nigeria, reaching you from ITI Studios in Abuja. I am Grace Uko with a quick summary of what's making the news in our national dailies. Next newspaper says, Mark 6 states of emergency in kidnap areas. The Senate President, David Mark, has called for declaration of state of emergency in states where kidnapping has refused to cease. Mr. Mark made the call following debates on a motion on the rising wave of insecurity in the country. Former Governor Atta appears before EFCC. The former Governor of Akwaibom State, Victor Atta, on Wednesday appeared before the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission over alleged money laundering charges. The head of media and publicity, EFCC, Femi Babafemi, confirmed that Mr. Atta had been questioned by the EFCC. Punch newspaper. Pray for us, kidnapped journalists, urge Nigerians. The chairman of the Lagos Council of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, Mr. Wahab Oba, on Wednesday morning spoke from an unknown location where he and four others are being kept by a gang of kidnappers. He said in a telephone conversation with the national president of the NUJ, Malam Mohamed Garba, that the kidnappers had so far treated them well since they were seized in Abia State on Sunday. Nigerian Compass, kidnapping. Federal government invites Israeli Mossad. Detectives from Mossad, the dreaded Israeli intelligence agency, have been deployed to Abia and other southeast states in a last-ditch effort by the federal government to free five journalists and two others from the camps of kidnappers and rid the region of the social malady. The Guardian newspaper says NNPC not broke, says government. Contrary to the position of Minister of State for Finance, Remy Babalola, that the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, is insolvent. The organization is financially sound, according to the federal government. However, it also emerged yesterday that Nigerians may not be able to know the true state of the NNPC until the results of the audit ordered by the president, good luck Jonathan, into the accounts of the corporation is completed in two months. Vanguard newspaper, Ritual, police nab child kidnapper, sells victims for 50,000 naira each, name sponsor. Detectives at the State Criminal Investigation Department, Panti Yaba, have arrested a middle-aged man who specialized in kidnapping children for ritualists. And in politics, next newspaper, El Rofai won 2011 elections delayed. Former Federal Capital Territory Minister Nasir El Rufai has called for the postponement of the 2011 general elections and the May 29 handover date. While speaking on Credible Voters Register at a conference organized by Change Nigeria Project and the Save Nigeria Group yesterday, Mr. El Rufai stated that the new chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Atahi Rujega, should be given all the resources necessary, including time, to achieve his aim of reforming the electoral body and preparing a credible voters register. Nigerian Compass, Akpabio task politicians on selfless service. Akwaibom State Governor Chief Godswill Akwabio has urged political office holders in the country to detach themselves from their offices in order to avoid the tendency of sit-tight leadership, which eventually leads to social malady and sponsored political terrorism. Anambra Group Roots for Eradwa Anambra at the weekend metaphorically stood still for President Goodluck Jonathan when a town hall meeting was held in the state to persuade him to run for the next year's presidential election. And in this day newspaper, we see 2011 PDP cautions against endorsement of governors, others. Ruling People's Democratic Party yesterday cautioned against the endorsement of state governors and other aspirants by some state chapters of the party before primary elections are held to determine the party's actual flag bearers for the 2011 polls. National Chairman of the party, Dr. Ekwesi Liese Nwodo, has also adduced reasons why politicians defect to ruling political parties, attributing this to the politics of com and chop. Business News Leadership Newspaper, UK Court Freezes Akimbola's Assets. Intercontinental Bank PLC, one of the banks bailed out by the Central Bank of Nigeria last year, has won a United Kingdom court order 
freezing 83 million pounds, that's $126 million, in assets held by its former chief executive officer, Mr. Erastus Akimbola. In Vanguard newspaper, CBN makes U-turn on new guidelines. The Central Bank of Nigeria has backpedaled on its directive that banks should disclose executive compensation and bonuses in their annual accounts. The Apex Bank last week issued a new prudential guidelines, which replaced the one issued in May, which mandated banks to disclose in their annual accounts monies paid to executives and staff as compensation, profit sharing and bonuses. Nigerian Compass, World Bank approves $6.8 million project to boost rural entrepreneurs. The World Bank's Board of Executive Directors has approved the sum of $6.8 million for the Scaling Up Sustainable Land Management Practice, Knowledge and Coordination Project. This will be a three-and-a-half-year incremental global environmental facility grant to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, focused on mainstreaming sustainable land management in Nigeria's agricultural sector. And in sports news, next newspaper says Eagles plummet in latest world rankings. The Super Eagles dropped nine places in the latest rankings released by the World Football Governing Body, FIFA, on Wednesday. After a disappointing World Cup campaign, the team previously ranked 21st in the world now occupies the 30th position. Former Falconets coach doubt team's chances. Inadequate preparations by the Falconets team to the ongoing FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup in Germany might hinder the team's ambitions of making it beyond the quarter-final stage of the tournament. So says Dan Evumena, the estuaire handler of the team. Punch newspaper, Lulu's mother's kidnap stalled sacked NFF chief's interrogation. The interrogation of the sacked president of the Nigeria Football Federation, Sani Lulu, and three others fixed for Wednesday was stalled because of the kidnap of the ex-NFF boss's mother. Our Haja Laruba Abdullahi was reportedly kidnapped by heavily armed men from her Kogi state home and taken to an unknown destination on Monday. Eagles to play South Korea. The Nigerian Football Federation has confirmed the Super Eagles will play a friendly against World Cup opponent South Korea on August 11. Both teams played a 2-2 draw at the World Cup in South Africa, which saw Nigeria being eliminated. Nigeria's football authorities also want to use the game to start a rebuilding process for the Super Eagles, whose recent performances have let fans down. Germany 2010, Falconets. England settle for draw. The Falconets came from behind to snatch a draw against England in their opening match of the ongoing FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup in Augsburg on Wednesday. The game ended 1-1. What can we say but hope and pray that the Falconets do us proud in this World Cup? And at this point, we wrap up this edition of Headlines Nigeria. I am Grace Ukos. Thanks for logging on.